Sports. It's in the game. more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself I just can't give you a whole spiel I don't even know where you're sitting at <laughs> this ain't what you want bitch I'm a fucking phenomenon Yo, 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 it's Wednesday night, you know what that means, it's Knucklehead Sports in the building, your boy Toe Tags is here, Hulch is on the way, Ray is on the way, Krill said he's gonna be late, so, word, your guess is as good as mine, but you got your boy Toe Tags in the building, what up, no guy, how you doing, how you doing, no guy, shit, man, the Team USA for the WNBA and the NBA ain't looking so good, my friend. They are not looking so good. They're not very good looking, man. Shit. We're going to get into that later. we definitely going to get into that. Because I, I, I haven't been watching the games, but I've been watching the highlights. And I'm looking here like... Some of these players are treating our players like little kids. You saw the WMEA versus the USA team. That was crazy. Like, I just saw the highlights for that. And I don't know, man. They might have picked the wrong team to be on there or some shit. Hoach is in the building. Yo, what up, my people? My bad. I got to do this on my phone. My For some reason, my uh, laptop was acting up, so I'm gonna be trying to restart this shit. Fucking laptops, man. Fucking technology. That's what the fuck it is. It's not the same as it was back in the day. Yeah, it was a lot worse back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot slower, but at least... <laughs> It worked when you needed it to. No, it was funny because I turned on my laptop and like it was slower than normal turning on. And I'm like, nah, this is not good. 
then when I saw the link, I clicked on it, and it was just mad slow, and it was saying that it couldn't connect the, the cameras or whatever. I'm like, all right, but I don't really use the camera like that. But it was freezing. So I was like, right, you know what? Let me just restart my, my laptop. It's been restarting for the last five to six minutes now. Shit. I said, hey, it is what it is. It's just me and you today. Uh, Ray said he's he's running late. Um, Krill said he's gonna be God on late. Damn it, he's with his another baby mama. Yeah, yeah this yeah. kid, bro. He, yo, he, it's his birthday. My man's getting some boom boom left and right. He got to take advantage of the shit. Whoa, whoa, stop that! His birthday was his birthday was goddamn last week. <laughs> true, true. That's true. But now they revealed his birthday, and you know the baby mamas had to make a schedule to go visit him and shit and. It's all fucked up. I think they you. Word. Krill said that he's gonna be late, and you know, show. Krill's always late. Yeah, when he gets here, he's always late. <laughs> and show. Let's not speak about that one. Yeah. All right, <laughs> but you said you wanted to speak on the bum ass USA team. Both of them, the women and the men. <laughs> well, I mean, the women got got by <laughs> the WNBA team and the two rookies that are on that team, which is funny because there's a, a third rookie that would have been on that team had she not fucked her ACL. Shit. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, let's start off with the men's. Before right. you say it, I just got to say something. Get it off my chest. Why is motherfuckers making it seem like the U.S. team surviving against teams that they're coming in like 30-point favorites? Yeah, South Sudan. Uh, you know, South Sudan, and I think the team they just played yesterday, whatever, like they're coming in... Like favorites, it's not even like even double digits. It's, it, you know, it's like a lot of fucking points, and they're literally getting by by the skin of their teeth. Yo, bro, it looked like we sent boys out there, and they're playing against men. Some of these people are just like, do you know what it is, Hutch? This is what we were talking about. Yes, uh, last week. Where we said no one knows how to play basketball. They just know how to do things very well with a basketball. Thank you. Because if they were playing like a team, like <laughs> we never do this, but I'm going to do it for the first time. Oh, if they were playing like a team, like the people from the 90s. Oh, I think so wait, are, we are, we are, are you referencing the 90s? Yeah, you know, we, ne we never do it. We never, ever do it. We're done with the 90s. But if, <laughs> but if the Dream Team was out there, I think they'll still whoop these kids' ass. Bro, it's, from what I've seen, it's, like you said, they nobody knows how to play team basketball. Yeah. It's sad. Like, I, like I've said before, it doesn't matter how athletic you are. You know what I'm saying? And this goes, and I've said this in both basketball and in football. Talent can only get you but so far. Yeah. You have to have, you have to be able to, to execute, run the fundamentals. And, and yeah, that's the thing. And hard work. Oh, and let's not forget the most important thing. Miles and miles of heart. Miles and miles of heart. But, yo, you notice when they said Jason Kidd couldn't shoot because he was just a passer and, and defensive guy. They're like, he'll never make it as a as a the elite point guard, even though he was good. Yeah. My I man mean, became yeah, almost one of the proficient three-point shooters in his, in his time. After they say he couldn't shoot. Because you know what he did? Practice. Yes. He actually went to the gym and practiced. Practice. Yeah, guys, that's a, that's a, you know, 
People actually do that. They actually practice. Yeah, cause cause yo, um, you ever see Steph Curry doing that double dribble shit where he's bouncing both balls and he's walking with it and all that other stuff? Yeah. And then you see him play the game and he's like fucking up the dribble and missing the ball and he can't get past nobody really. He has to depend on the screen, the the, the pick and roll all the time. Yeah, and the it's like, it was, yeah, yeah, it's the like, screen, yeah. He's depending on his talent. He's depending on what he has already too much. He's not he's not fixing the gap in his hole. And I noticed that when they were playing Sudan, um, yeah, when they were playing Sudan, yo, the defense was stretched everywhere. Nobody was playing defense on nobody, and no one wanted to play defense on nobody. It was like a bunch of kids going, "We need the ball. Let's go. Let's go get the ball so we can score." But I saw no. I see no communication. And you know, and look, I, I'm gonna be a truthful. Yeah, I'm a LeBron hater. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody knew that, but you know, we're confessing shit today. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I'll give him his props when he needs to give be given his props, but you know, it's like they're all they're almost making it seem like they want him to be the hero of every game. Yeah, South yeah. Sudan. South Sudan, who who put the who put the team ahead? LeBron. The last game, you know, who who hit the dagger? LeBron. Bro, you guys do you guys do know there's at least what twelve to thirteen more people on that team? Yeah. But but that that that's the crazy shit, man. And I think you're you're, you're hitting. One of the, the things is like you have all these stars, superstars, mega stars on the team, and LeBron's the only person that can get him over that hump. And, and, like, and not for nothing. And yeah, and not for nothing. I know somebody like Krills is gonna be like, yo, cause he's he's that dude, he's LeBron. Yo, yeah. we yo, he, he ain't that dude. <laughs> he, he ain't that dude. Sorry. You know, I'm sorry to burst y'all bubbles. Uh, he ain't he ain't the goat. He just not. Yeah, I'll give him this. He is one of the best players of his era. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know what? You say he's one of the biggest stars in his era. It was stars. What whatever you want to do, as you know, he did play with Vince Carter for a little while, and Vince Carter's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm just catching on my messages. What's up, yeah. normal guy? What up, Joseph? What are you people? How y'all people doing? But you know, it's like in his era, we've had to question who the best player is. Yeah. There was no oh, doubt. Is it LeBron? Is it Durant? Is it Curry? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And it again, people, don't get it twisted. I hate fucking Jordan too. What? Uh, he, he cost my Knicks a lot of championships. Yeah. Yeah. And now All the right. 76ers are doing that to us. <laughs> But at the end of the day, during the Jordan, when Jordan played, he was unquestionable, unquestionable best player at that time in that league. You know, like it wasn't like, oh, you know, I don't know. Is Charles Barkley better than Jordan? You know, is Dominique Wilkins better than Jordan? Is so and so better than Jordan? Yo, there was none of these questions. But you still have them with LeBron. So, I mean, all, all you LeBron lovers out there, and I'm going to say it because, you know, we ain't politically correct in this show, and all y'all dick riders, all right, he just has never been that dude. 
He is a great basketball player. I'll give him that. But during his era, you've always had to question, is he truly the best player in the time that he has played? And when you have to throw other players in there, like Curry, Durant, you know, and I'm going to say, because even when he was playing, you know, Tim Duncan was still in the league. It was like, come on, dude. It is what it is. But from what I've seen in the Olympics, it's like they want to make him look like he is the godfather. You, you know, yes. It, it, and I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one seeing it. Oh, yeah. You see it with all these uh, stats they throw, out, they throw up and... Uh, oh, LeBron James saves the day for the U.S. team and blah blah blah. But when you see the 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 headlights, the headlines for when the Dream Team did it, it's total domination, total domination. So the the best in the world are playing the rest of the world when when the Dream Team did it. You know, I, and I I love it when people say, oh, you know, but when the Dream Team would play, they were playing against countries that had just started playing basketball. One, that's a lie. I'm sorry. European basketball has been around for a long, long time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear that mm -hmm. shit. But what you did see was the original, original Dream Team completely dominate everybody they played against. You know, it, it, again, that team was feared. And respect it. And that's what makes that team different. Yeah. Like, I have never seen so many people want to take pictures with a dude that just whooped them by 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like if Bruce Lee whooped your ass, you're like, thank you very much, sir. Can I take a picture? <laughs> you, you know, they, you know they, they were feared. They were respected. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. I looked. I looked at the at the last couple of dream teams because I'm not even going to say it's just this one. The last couple of dream teams, yo, the world is like yo. You're not scared. We're not scared of you guys. Mm hmm. And, you know, and I thought, I know we had this conversation, especially me and Grills. Yes, the players nowadays are more athletic. I would give them that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's called evolution. You have to evolve. So, yes, the players nowadays are better athletes. But that does not make them better players. Seriously. Because we, we had some freak athletes in our day and do nothing. Yo, somebody was talking on... um um. I forgot the name of the show. It's the one with Peter Rosenberg and um, LaGreca. It's, it's after work. Well, they were talking about the, they made the most, uh, the, the top 100 athletic uh, people of the 21st century. Okay. And, um, and um, somebody was like, yo, I don't understand how you don't put um, Bo. Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson. And not, they said it was he's the 20th century, but like he goes, but yo, Bo Jackson was a freak athlete and he had no accomplishments. You know, like our, our greatest athletes back in the day had no wins. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, Bo Jackson was a beast. He just got hurt. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is Unless you have a team and everyone does their job, a freak athlete didn't matter in sports. Oh, no, absolutely not. Now, for some reason, it matters. But no one's living up to their potential. You see Anthony Davis getting out-rebounded by the South Sudan player and then looking at the ref for a fucking foul call. That, to me, diminishes the game because if you're the best player in the world, you shouldn't be looking for a fucking foul call. You should either be getting that fucking rebound or going back on defense to redeem the fact that he got the rebound off of you. Facts. 
Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? To me, I think that's the worst part of the game when when a fucking player goes up for some shit or takes a shot and looks at the ref like, why didn't you call that? Because oh, to me, so then... The, the players nowadays are more entitled. Yeah. And and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, back in the days, yeah, you still have... You have players that would, you know, look at the refs and bitch at the refs. You know, Jordan bitch at the refs, Barkley bitch at the refs. You know, it, it, it was what it was. I mean, I'd be the first person to say, you know, that fucking the fact that Dennis Rodman would look at a ref and get a technical foul <laughs> was ridiculous to me. But meanwhile, you know, you had Jordan and it, and even to some instances, Barkley and some other players that would chew a ref out and the ref would be there smiling. You know, but, you know, Dennis Rodman look at you, you know, tech. Because <laughs> Rodman probably was fucking <laughs> you saying know, some wild shit. They started doing the same thing with Rashid. Rashid look at a, at, at a ref, what do you even say anything, tech? And Rashid was like, well, I don't even say anything, but you're about to. <laughs> Word. You know, but. But, you know, but most of the time that I've seen it, because, you know, I don't have the, the the biggest memory of them days, but Jordan or somebody will go after the ref and talk to the ref about that call after the ball was dead, not while yes. the ball is still in play. Absolutely, that's what grinds my gears. Yeah, if if the if the play was dead, yes, you would see Jordan, you know, or another player, you know, talking shit to the ref or whatever. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I find it funny that. You know, everybody wants to say, "Oh, look at this! Look at this video with Jordan was, uh, you know, screaming at a ref." And I'm like, "Yeah, but did you see the background?" I go, "The play is dead." Yeah, that's, a, that's the big difference. I go, "I got LeBron crying at the ref while the game, while there's still a play going on." Yeah, while Curry's taking his final three in the fucking finals. My oh, man, what are you doing? Word. Get 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 at, get your ass back on defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yo, and if yo, and if these refs actually called every call that these players wanted them to call, these games would take four or five hours long. You oh. every time the ball is dribbled, you're gonna have to stop playing. Wow. <laughs> Like every time the someone looks at someone foul, like what the fuck is this? You're getting... No, you're right. You, the... I can't, I can't say nothing. You're right. They became so dependent on the the fucking foul call, and 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 complaining to the refs, and the flopping and shit like that, that. All that athleticism and all these people being better fucking becomes null and void now. Yo, I, 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 I've, I've, I've never seen it, bro. I, I've never seen it where people cry as much as they do now. Yeah. And look at normal guy just put out a fucking stat out there. Sasu then had 15 turnovers. The U.S. had, you know, they had 12. A and team. they still, and they still almost beat the USA. It's no continuity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't see the players like talking about like, yo, I right, let's go, yo, let's go take care of business. Again, one thing I can say about the, the original Dream Team, <laughs> they were making statements. They were about their business. Yo, and. And not for nothing. You had the best players in the world with the dream team in their positions. But minus Isaiah Thomas. Right. But and the only reason he was on the team because Jordan just didn't like him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the story. Jordan said, get him the fuck out of here. But if you think about it, you see highlights of the game. It was almost like Magic was like, yo, I finally got someone I can give the ball to, and it's going in every time I give it to him. So I can give it to him whenever the fuck I want. Facts. 
And yeah, and Jordan's just like, yo, bro, I got somebody that's going to feed me the ball whenever the fuck I want. <laughs> and then you have Rodman getting rebounds because you know, they were specialists in their in their fucking positions. Absolutely. I don't I don't see specialists here. Like Steph Curry is the point guard. Why is LeBron James or fucking Atatakumbo or all these other people bringing the or Joel Embiid bringing the ball down and taking three pointers? You have Steph Curry on the court. No one should be taking threes but him. Facts. You you have the best players in the world on your team, and you're still playing like if you're the star of a bum ass team. That's why they're losing. <laughs> No one realizes that the guy they're giving the ball to is the best player in the world. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, Yo, like, you can't I, you can't say nothing about it, bro. It's the truth, though. <laughs> it's like, Yo, look at you know, just think, you're fucking Steph Curry. You got Joel Embiid on your left. You got LeBron James on your right. You got fucking Antetokounmpo in the middle of the fucking court. And then you got fucking uh, uh, Damian Lillard, whoever the fuck else is over here. Whoever you give the ball to, the ball's going in. And even if Curry ain't controlling the ball, you got Curry on the court. If Wherever he's standing, the ball's going in. Why are they not utilizing this? Because like I said, I... I, 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 I... Dude, it's almost like they're trying to make it seem like LeBron is still the top tier player in the league. I'm, I'm sorry. From what I've seen, that's that's what I've seen. No, I hear you. And the, yo, it's to be honest, and and right now we don't need that. I don't think LeBron James needs to be super up anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's LeBron James. Let him play the fucking game. Like, next thing you know, LeBron James farted on the court, and it was the best smell of fart we've ever seen. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless... Yo, the only time that, that LeBron James is playing with the best plays in the world where they want to give him credit for getting a game win shot in a tight game is when he's playing the rest of the best of the uh, best players in the world, like in the All-Star game or some shit. You're right. When he's playing other countries that, let's face it, should not be anywhere near as good as our players. And, and they, they're giving him credit for saving the game. You got the wrong team on the court, bro. Uh, what is it? Who, who, who was it? I was I was speaking to somebody. And they were like, "Well, you know, the U.S. team doesn't have all the best players in in in, in the league." And, and I'm like, "Okay, Luca is probably the best player on his team by a far margin." Yep. <laughs> you know, Joker is probably the best player on his team by a far margin. You know, I to you know Giannis, you know, probably the best player has seen by a, by a wide margin. You know and he that? never played with these people, bro. Bro, bro, stop telling me that ass. Stop telling me that you have thirteen of the best players in the world, and they're almost losing to to teams. That maybe have one player that might be in the NBA. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Bro, stop that shit. And, and yo, and the crazy thing is, we're playing other teams that have professional leagues where people who cannot make it in the NBA anymore, veterans like Dwight Howard, Definitely. go there. Go there and score 50 fucking points a game and dominate. Yo, Dwight Howard, before he left, you know, basically ran out of the league. He was basically ran out of the league. 
My man's killing it over there. Yeah. Marbury basically ran out of the league also. Killing it over there. You know, it's like, come on now. It, it's it's crazy that this is happening. And that the fact that we're not pissed off about it. Like, I don't care if they still won. There's a difference between winning like that and winning the way you're supposed to win. That's like if Mike Tyson went 14 rounds with a scrub. And won by decision. You would be looking at Mike Tyson like, yo, what happened to you? Facts. You wouldn't be like, oh, Tyson won. No, you'd be like, what the fuck happened to Tyson? A hundred percent. We got I Mike Tyson. Tyson. I expect you, not, you, I expect you to knock out this motherfucker in like 0.3 seconds. Yeah, like I'm expecting Mike Tyson to have five, six fights a night. People would just come in, boom, one punch, and they're out. Stretch him out, get the next guy in there. He's warmed up now. <laughs> you know what I'm like that's how Tyson fought, <laughs> especially against scrubs. But we got Tyson on the court, and these guys are winning by one point. Right uh, against against, uh, and I'm gonna say it again against teams from other countries. While yes, they might play together longer. Collectively, do not have any kind of skill sets that our supposed USA team has. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, again, Gross is going to say, yo, we're done with the 90s. Dream Team 92. When you saw them play, yo, they didn't take any team lightly. Yeah. They actually was challenging themselves when, um, who was it? Uh, Tony Kukoc yeah. was playing. They were like, yo, yo, I'm going to guard him. No, 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 I'm going to guard him. I'm going to get him. It was like they making statements around the world like, yo, bro, we're the best. We, and we're going to show you why we're the best. Yeah. And then you had, yo, another thing that, like, I don't think people realize, or maybe I'm just putting too much stock in. When you watch the documentary of the Redeem team. Oh, God. And, and everybody's talking about how Kobe was in the gym two hours before everybody else and left an hour every, before, you know, after yeah, everybody where, else. Where, and, where was everybody else at? And they were partying and all that other shit. After seeing that documentary and how much work it, he put in to win the Olympics and all that. Okay, let's get that to right. Come back. He put into Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then to come back the next couple of times and to put on these performances is disrespectful. It is disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have Kobe, arguably the second greatest basketball player of all time after Jordan, some people's list. Yeah. And and he teaches these kids. Because at that time, those were kids. LeBron James, Carmelo, and all those guys were yeah, still kids. They were kids. Yeah. Teaches these kids how to put in work and to not accept defeat and to and to get back the greatness that the NBA was supposed to be. To just go right back to, to being bums. That's, that's disrespectful. Where's the leadership there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 100%. It's like, yo, you if you're going to be the next guy in line, the captain of the team after that, you have to have a higher standard than that. You can't have a lower one. You can't have better people on your team and do worse. Like, come on, man. Yo, for real. How, how, you, you, nah, you said it right. How you, how you going to be worse? Again. They talk about, you know, how, you know, they want to represent and have to have love for the game and, and this and that. And, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, um, no, no, you know, <laughs> no. Nah. I don't see it. 
you know, because at, at, at this point, we've all been, it, um, you know, I, I watched the video where Seinfeld turned around and said, when did money become everything? He said in the 80s, it was just who had the cooler job. They didn't ask about how much you got paid or anything like that. As long as you were living, it didn't matter. You had a comfortable life. Then it makes me think it's like, well, when I was growing up, right now I'm, I'm making around the same amount of money as my pops and my mom made, you know, separately. Right. And I'm like, shit, I can't afford nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so, yeah. So, yeah. So, so it makes money very important for us, our generation, because we can't own anything. We can't pass anything down. We don't have anything to our names. And I think when you grow up with that mindset that you need an abundance of money, I think it kills the spirit of the game because a lot of these people are just there for as much money as they can make. Right. Look, look, I, like I get the evolution of, uh, of the game, and I get the evolution of the economics of the game. But you literally have bum ass motherfuckers who signed one contract and have made more money than Jordan made playing basketball. Now, I'm not touching Jordan's money with Nike. Yeah. Because that's different. Those are endorsements. Yeah. The his the contract money he got from the Bulls was less like if a, if a, if a bum ass signs a a, a, a a what a hundred million dollar contract right now, he's already made more money than Jordan has throughout his entire NBA career. Yeah, <laughs> which is which is crazy. You know, like like people forget when you know when it was Jordan Barkley Ewing when these cats were in the league, the league minimum was a hundred uh, was a couple hundred thousands. Yeah. The league minimum now, but it was the league, the veteran league minimum as well, like three mil. I think so. I got you right now. Uh, current min minimum salary projections for 2024, 2025 using a 141 million dollar cap so if you're 10 plus years in the in the league minimum salary is three mil look at that that's crazy look at that look at that look at that yeah yo with zero experience minimum minimum salary is 1.1 mil <laughs> that's a joke yeah man Oh man, that's a joke. And for you to tell me that some of these players deserve this money? Yeah. Bro, I'm going to be truthful right now. I look at the Dream Team right now and I'm like, yo, I, I feel like I can put a, a team together from fucking from West 4th Street and give them a cop. <laughs> He's looking like that Shit Yeah I think To be honest with you I think the fact that These players are getting Paid so much money It also makes The team Not give a fuck Like Like Think about it Let's say The um, The Portland Trailblazers Right They had Damian Lillard. Right. Their rookies are making millions of dollars. They, I'm pretty sure they're on some, well, we can't get rid of them because they're making millions of dollars, so it's going to be a hit to our cap. Or, well, as long as Damian Lillard's here, he's making our money back for what we're getting, for what we're paying for these fucking players. So it doesn't matter if we win or lose. I, I hear what you're saying, yeah. So where's the incentive to go? Y'all niggas ain't worth the money. We get rid of you and we go find other people. Because even if you're making millions of dollars a year, if your job is expendable, you're going to play like you're not making millions of dollars a year. I 
mean, I, I can see where you're going now with that, but at the same time, I just feel like the, the, the players don't want to be known as the best of best of the best, the best in you know the best of the world. Yeah. Like I, I it, to me it's like the they talk about the pride, but they don't show it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to, truthfully to me, I'm sorry, no disrespect to South Sudan. That game should have been over by midway during the second half, the second quarter. Facts. It, it could be close, but that the fourth quarter, third quarter, these motherfuckers are gonna have to start turning it up. There's got to show the levels that it takes, because basically right now they're saying anybody can play in the NBA. And if what was it? Um, there's what 15 men on on the on the roster, yeah, and there's 30 teams. Yeah. Right? Let's see. Um, it, that's 450 people. Those are supposed to be the 450 greatest basketball players in the world, or at least in America. And South Sudan got better players than us. There's or, a problem, or, 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 or not, or, or <laughs> enough good players to give us comp. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. That's... I mean, like I'm on my I'm on my laptop right now. But you can you Google how many South Sudan players are in the NBA? Please enlighten me. South Sudan, uh, do both current and former players. I think there used to be two. There used to be? Luau Deng is the only person I can see from South Sudan. Wow, my man, Luau Deng. Yo, respect to my man, Lou Alden. There was, since 1983, there have only been 10 South Sudan players in the NBA. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm reading this right. Yeah. And none of them are, in the, uh, are currently playing. <laughs> and they almost beat us. <laughs> South Sudan players train with throwing rocks into holes. Yo, dude. <laughs> but they look like grown men compared to to these to our players. I'm seeing them box out players and these and our players going fucking flying. I'm talking about you, Anthony Davis. Like I don't understand, man. I I I really don't understand. You mean you mean my man, Mr. Glass? Yeah. Like there's a difference between playing the NBA and playing the world. Like where is where's that ego there? Like that that's the one thing that I could say. You know you know they have the. Male toxic, you know, toxic masculinity bullshit. I can say that's a trait that every man needs. When we're in our group, yeah, okay, we're playing to see who's better. But when we go to another person's territory, we're there to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? We're there to dominate you. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's sad. I'm sorry. Sad, but you know, but again, this these this are the, the best players right now, you know. Yeah, man, and it, it's it's not acceptable. 
and I've been saying this almost on every podcast that we do. Mediocrity is not acceptable. And I know Lay says that shit too, but it's not acceptable when you're sitting here giving me bullshit movies about the Star Wars or Marvel or DC characters. It's not acceptable when you're giving me bullshit play in the Olympics. For that, we should go back to fucking college players playing. Oh, you get it? Get the fucking N one league to play or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what 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 they want, but it's not acceptable. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Yo, get get these dunkers you see on YouTube. I guarantee you the game will be more exciting. Yeah. Because yo, because yo, not for nothing. I I don't I'm not impressed by the money that they make. Because if we were playing in the fucking schoolyard and somebody was fucking up. We would be on their asses. We would be like, yo, stop giving him the ball. You know what I'm saying? Or switch. You, you know, like, you suck. Don't play. You know what I'm saying? Like, for nothing, yo, we would kill ourselves. You, you're right. Yeah, we'd be like, yo, my man, what are you doing? Yeah, for nothing. For no money whatsoever, we would kill ourselves to play the game that these guys are getting played millions of dollars for. If I went to work and I and I was supposed to be the best employee in the in the... In the in the thing, and every chance I got, yeah, every chance I got, I showed I didn't know how to do how to do my job. Don't you think I would have stopped being at this fucking job? They they fire people for less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they get millions of dollars, and people are on some like they need to be respecting and shit. Nah, man, we gonna hold you to the same standards we hold ourselves. The difference between me and you is I'm willing to kill myself for free, and you go home to a fucking. Um, a, a, a gourmet cook, a fucking cryogenic chamber, a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, a fucking uh, trainer that that, that that fixes your body and shit. We fuck up ourselves playing this game for free in the park, coach. We got to live with it. We don't have somebody that we go to into a gym rubbing our fucking leg, putting ice on it and giving us cortisone shots when the fuck we want. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? I, 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 I'm telling you, bro, it's it's almost sad that we got to defend oh. this 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 quote unquote dream team. Yeah. Yo, real quick, the update: the Mets just scored five runs in the eighth inning. It's eleven to two. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Top of the eighth. That's all right, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's 162 games, but I'm not stressing it. I hear you. I hear you. But yeah, man, that, that, that's that, that's why I I don't I'm not impressed with these players, and and I don't give a fuck what you know, like oh well, this that and I don't care. Life's hard for everybody, no matter how much money you make. But shit, man, when there's people out here willing to do that shit for free, you're going to have to take some kind of seriousness in it. And you you can work hard all you want, but if you're not working smart or you're not working towards your deficiencies or becoming better, then what the fuck is the point of working hard? You're working stupid. Uh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, but also, it's like, it's like, come on now, guys. Like, how do you how do you expect me to defend what you guys are doing? Like, truthfully, think about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, it's because they haven't they haven't played together. You guys are professional fucking players. What the fuck do you need a oh you need a play together? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Word. That's some that's some excuse we use on the high school team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, and it, it's been what four games already? They should know already. They should they play each other. The dream team didn't need to do that. They went in there and they fucking they fucking dominated since day one. They practiced against each other. They knew how to play with each other. Yo, Hutch, 
imagine you had a rival company that you that you always competed against. And there's but, always that one motherfucker like, yo, I know this guy could work. And then you had a chance to work with him. You would know, like, all right, this guy could do this and I could do that. Yo, this is this is what we're going to do. But you telling me all of a sudden LeBron James doesn't know how Steph Curry plays? Come on, he's supposed to be the greatest mind in basketball. Give me that bullshit. Boston won. Oh, Boston. Lo- wow. Boston lost 20 to 7. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I saw the zero. I thought they won 7 0, but no, no. 20 to 7. Colorado Rockies beat the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> that's, that's a price sign. Word. When did they stop this shit? That seemed like a fucking mercy rule game. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right. No wonder uh, Joseph wanted me to ask about the Boston. <laughs> shit, but yeah, man. It And... Yeah, it, it pisses me off, man. It, it, that, it's one. That's one of those things that I, I take personal because if I was anywhere near their height, I probably would have been there. Like, there's a lot of us that if they if we were their height, we would have been there doing that shit. And when when you're in a position where people would kill to be in your position, and you take that shit for granted, or you you fuck around with it, that pisses me off, man. No, absolutely, it should piss everybody off. But again, you know, I, I don't want to hear the, oh, you know, or oh, they haven't played together. And, fuck that. Oh, they haven't played together bullshit. <laughs> Word. Oh, man, you guys are professional athletes. Supposed to be the best of the best of the best. And you're telling me you're struggling against a team that has nobody. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Let's cut the crap. In the NBA right now. Yeah. Come on now. This this game that that should be one of the easiest games for you. Yeah. To be honest with you, yeah. Like, come on now. They shouldn't. This should, my man. That again. That game should have been over by midway during the second quarter. They should. They should. I don't. Well, don't don't tell me anything else. Don't give me no fucking excuses. Because that's what everybody everybody's making an excuse for them. Yeah. You know, and let's, let's cut the bullshit. We're not talking about college, high school kids or whatever. We're talking about grown men. Yep. Yep. Grown, grown men who know, hey, I got to you know, I gotta do this and I, I got to do that. Ain't, no, ain't, yep. ain't, ain't no babies in there. Yep, grown men who volunteered to be on their team to represent their country. And already, like, two of them have quit. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Word. Now, Kawhi Leonard don't look so fucking, uh, so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Everybody's like, oh, you know, Ka- Kawhi Leonard quit. He's a quitter. Whatever. Yeah, well, guess what? Somebody else just quit, too. Shit, and if it, is it really quitting if you decided, oh, these motherfuckers ain't playing for real, I'm not going to fucking... Think, think about it. Imagine if he's like, you know what, since you guys don't want to play for real, you know, I'm not going to uh, you know, subjugate myself to looking like a burger. I'd rather not play. Word. We got a burger count, Joseph, and you missed it. Oh, shit, that's right. My bad, people. My bad, Joseph. Shit, Joseph missed the fucking burger count. Mm, hamburger. That's right. Yo, I <laughs> I fucking looked up yellow watermelon because I was like, yo, I ain't never seen yellow watermelon before. Yellow watermelon? 
Yeah, it's actually um, a natural variety of watermelon that gets their bright yellow color from a beta creatine and antioxidant that the body converts into vitamin A. They are often sweeter than red watermelons and had a have a subtle note of honey, apricot, and grapefruit. But they have similar textures and health benefits, including being a source of vitamin A and C that you can use water yellow melons, watermelons in recipes interchangeable with red watermelons. I did not know yellow watermelons exist. I thought yellow watermelons was just like the skin was yellow. Man, Joe, I did not know that. I'll be a hundred percent honest. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That gotta be new. Watch in a couple years. That's gonna be the new avocado. <laughs> it's a super fruit, yeah. The new avocado. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the way shit's going, you never know. <laughs> Word. Where the fuck do you buy a yellow watermelon from? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> this is news to me. I didn't know there was yellow watermelons. Word. I don't think they okay, sell them. These people, if I sound ignorant. Shit. They, they, that must be an Olympic uh, special thing. <laughs> special edition? Yeah. It's a special edition? Word. Yo, I, I, you know Eggs Benedict? I never knew how they were made or what the fuck was in it. But then when I started hearing about it, it's like, oh, you need a hollandaise sauce. And I'm like, so why the fuck you eating Eggs Benedict now? We ain't in the holidays. People look at me like I'm stupid. I'm like, if, if this is a holiday sauce, why don't you wait until Christmas or something to eat this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. People right, are stupid. So, it, it, enough of the bum-ass American male dream team or whatever they want to call it. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, what's, up, what's up with the female who got spanked by the regular woman's all star team? Yeah, which is crazy because all those people that people were like, yo, we need to see, um, Caitlin. you know, we want to see Caitlyn and this other girl in here, and they're like, oh, no, they don't deserve to be on the team. Well, they just whooped your ass. So, what happens now? Facts. They whoop your ass. <laughs> so, so um, what happens now? So you know. And it wasn't even close. Yeah. I think they just they made this team based off of the the veterans, probably. And that's and that's all fine. You want to give veterans a chance, or you know, the last hurrah or whatever. But you know, to 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 literally say, because you know the whole thing was, oh, they can't, uh, you know, with the the concept of the of the playbook and everything, because the coach, the coach, that's what she was saying. Yo, your those rookie players just made your veteran players, who supposedly know your playbook, look stupid. Yeah. So if they made them look stupid. Guess what that makes you? Guess what that makes you look extra stupid. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's basketball. It's not like you're sitting there and you have your girls sitting at the fucking half court line going Omaha, Omaha, blue forty six, seven forty seven, Omaha, hood uh, height. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> like they don't need to to know a playbook. It's like we're not sitting here running a a, a fucking you know a run up the middle. <laughs> they just playing basketball, bro. Yeah, you know, you know, her 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 thing for not having rookies on the team was literally oh the players that are on the team have been playing together for the last four to eight years and they know the playbook. They know how to play with each other. Yada 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 yada. You guys got <laughs> embarrassed. Word during the All Star game. Word, and then you should look at yourself and and seriously go. Well, if these girls know how to play with each other and they know how to do all this other shit, then you got to be the problem if you're getting your ass whooped by people who just came together for whim. 
if your playbook isn't good enough to beat the All Star team, maybe it's you. Like my man, think up, think about that. You talking about how these rookies are not good enough to pl- to play on the team. But meanwhile, rookies with your ass. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Angel Reese because you know, I, to me, if it wasn't for Caitlin uh, Clark, she'd be irrelevant. Yeah, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But you know, also game, she had another. She had another double double. On that game, in in the also game, she had another double double, and she didn't even start. She came off the bench. Shit! Didn't she um, get a record or some shit like yeah, that? Or almost? Uh, yeah, she beat the 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 rookie record for double doubles. In uh, consecutive double doubles, Jesus. And then come the All Star game, she she pop another double double. <laughs> but, but meanwhile, but meanwhile, your playbook is too advanced, and you need and you need the veterans that know that know that know the how the playbook. That's right. Come on, yo, get off that bullshit. Yeah, because that's what it is. Just feeding us bullshit. Because cause for some reason, that's all somebody knows how to do now is bullshit you. And they give you some excuse about this or that or this or this or that. And it's like, you got to remember fucking Jupiter's in retrograde now. So everybody's a little fucking depressed and shit. And they don't believe that shit in South Sudan. And that's why they beat us. <laughs> you know, like, like that's that's what the fuck you hear all of a sudden with these fucking people. It's like, all right, cool. The, the yeah, they magically fucking magically got good. They they drank the secret sauce, the secret juice from. Oh, they drank uh, fucking, the secret formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah from Space Jam. Yeah, that's what it was. They sent the Monstars to go steal the talents of the NBA players. Bro, like, I, like, uh, like I'm, I'm old school. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm old school. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're so old. You hear that? You hear that normal guy? He's admitting that he's old school. But I'm also willing to give people their, their due. Yeah, like these young ladies were have been killing it in the NBA. Why not? Why not give them their due? Yeah, you know that like there's one there's one player on the team, right? That is almost like Yao Ming. She hasn't even played. She hasn't played yet, but meanwhile she's on the dream on the on the Olympic team. <laughs> like, like, come on, make it make sense. Yeah. How you haven't played, but you, you, but but you, you on the team? Yeah. On, you know what that 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 shows um the the the, the other the other players like the rookies. That you really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah how, you gonna tell, how you gonna tell me that somebody who has not even played a minute or a second this season <laughs> is it, it gets the honor of being on the Olympic team? Over the two hottest stars in the league right now. Yes. Who are killing it, by the way. It's not like they're stars because they're just fucking hot. They're killing it. And they're not allowed to be on, but you can. Bro, like, I'm sorry. Like, I said, no. 
I, I think Angel Reese just a little bit too as much jealous of Kayla Clark, but she's doing her thing. Yeah. Kayla Clark sort of slow, but she's doing her thing. Uh, Cameron uh, Burke or whatever I think was her name for LA before she got hurt, before she fucked up her ACL, she was also doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, I don't watch the WNBA, but I not just named you three plays. <laughs> the word. You know, the only player I know on the Olympic team is Tarasi. And that's only because I've known her since she was in, at UConn. And if I'm not mistaken, they called her the White Mamba, right? Yes. And I remember like, her during uh, Kobe's funeral. Yeah. The Alexa, like, that's the only girl, you know, like... <laughs> Uh, Joseph, we all know you miss your, your snow bunny, Cameron. <laughs> Wait, wh- wh- which one is Cameron? She's the one uh, that uh, fucked up her ACL. Oh, um, oh, wait. I tall, think I... Tall, tall blonde, tall blonde. Yes, yes, yes. I remember her. Yeah. I mentioned her before. She out here looking like one of the Hilton sisters. <laughs> the, the normal guy says the tall one. The normal guy, they're all tall in the, in the, the, the WNBA. <laughs> Your word. <laughs> Shit. Uh-huh. And that's like, that's like saying, which one is Hutch? The bald one. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I got here. Hold on. What are we talking about? Shit. I got it. So, so do me, Lay, and and Show, and Kenny, and Krills, and Krills. Yeah, we just hit, it's on the inside that counts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, bro, isn't that just like I just named you your top three rookies this year? I I, I can name you a couple of other, you know, players in the WNBA. You know, like that man. No, Mr. Gardner. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody, anybody can come at me. What you want to say? She, she is a female. She literally told on an interview talking about no, they, they call her pops. Yo, you're not pops, my dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your voice is deeper than mine. That's. That, you know, Cause I know you're taking them testosterone pills and all that other shit. <laughs> but biologically, you ain't pops. Yeah, you can't be pops. All right, Joseph, I'm gonna have to correct you. Cameron Burke got some long legs, but she is nothing like Stacey Keebler. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stacey Keebler's legs. Grew up and made an ass out of themselves. Yeah. Cameron Burke, you know, she's tall, skinny, she she got a cute face. But that's about it. Stacy Stacey Keebler has some curves. Word. So, Even the song said it. She got legs. <laughs> and she knows how to use them. But um But yeah, my dude, it's like, yo, how how you you look stupid now that these rookies and these players that you don't even have on the team because the girl that won the MVP, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Joseph or normal guy said her name in, in the chat. Like, she's not a rookie, but she's been in the league like I think like five years or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, she killed it. Why is she, why is she not on your team? Like you have a bunch, you just unfortunately you have a bunch of old players on your team, and the reason you can do it is because you're not scared of any of the female teams that are in the Olympics. Because I guarantee you, if you feared any of those teams, these rookie players would be on your team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you can't you can't dispute think, that think about it. they're going for I think what eight or uh, seven or eight straight Olympic gold medals. 
The women are. Not the men, but the women are. Like in the in basketball or in basketball. Okay. The women have won like seven seven gold medals in a row in basketball. And they pretty much dominated all the Olympics because in, in, in women's basketball there really isn't um that kind of competition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. No more guy said it. Uh, Joseph said it's uh Akaramba? Yeah. Dude, look at the highlights. She was and it wasn't like she was making open jump shots. Like she was making threes that were that they had players in her face. Like yo, she was. She oh, was, at the you talking about for the 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 All Stars versus? Yeah, the, the WNBA All Stars versus. Oh, the yeah, team. she had to. I think she drained like fourteen threes. Bro, she was eight for thirteen. She only missed five threes in the whole game. That's crazy. And at one point, they were going to sub her out for Caitlin. Yeah. And Caitlin saw that she started to heat up, and Caitlin got up and walked back to the bench. You know, that, that, <laughs> like, yo, like, uh, not for nothing. Yo, that, that takes some fucking inter- integrity to do that shit. Yeah. Because another player would have been like, nah, fuck it. It's, it's Brucey's time to shine. <laughs> she never had that popcorn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not really shit, I know. But she was like, yo, she's starting to catch fire. I'm going to go sit back on the bench. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that, like that's the type of player you lost. Having on the on the, on, on the w, the Olympic team, like, you lost that. Word. And I mean, it's- for, for a girl who's, what, 21, 22? Yeah, He's showing a high level of maturity. Because yeah, and- let's not get it twisted. In the first couple of weeks, months of the season, they were hunting for her, mm-hmm. and, and she never retaliated. She got up, she dusted herself off, and kept the movement. She was like, "Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm trying yeah. to win. I'm trying to win. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make myself look good for other people. I'm trying to win." Yeah, yeah, and that should be. Uh- that should be that, the type of player you want on your team. It should be, yeah. Instead of somebody who has yet to play a second. Bro, like, I, you know, like if it was, like, remember the, the year that uh, Yao Ming was voted in to be a starting center, even though I think I had, like, ACL surgery or whatever? Yeah. Like, I get it. That's a fan base voting. Getting picked for the Olympic team is not a fan base vote. Yeah, that's true. You literally have a committee that sits down and talks about, yo, let's take the best of the best of the best. And you're telling me that a person who's injured, who hasn't played a second, is a better option than Caitlin or Angel Reese? Or that, or the the girl who won the MVP in the All Star game? Like, come on now. Yeah. Uh oh. Look at his eyes. He looked like he just made three babies. <laughs> Look at your pupils, Ray. My my pupils are fine. Look at I'm... your pupils. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, take that four. You just made four, baby. Look at your pupils. They're perfectly fine, my guy. What's mm-hmm. going on? Uh-huh. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Perfectly fine when you make four more babies. I, I, we get it. Word. <laughs> so, so what, what have I missed? What up, my brother? How are you doing? All good, man. All good. My apologies for being late. What's going on, chat? Who we got? Who we got in the building. We got normal guy. We got Joseph in the building. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? And we got some uh, hidden listeners or people listening outside of the live. Right. Feel free to come into the chat, conversate with us, give us your opinions on shit. Yeah, man, come oh, on. Yeah, in. We, we don't, don't bite, bite that hard. We don't bite. I bite. I mean, Ray, Ray might get you know, somebody pregnant during the stream, but. <laughs> that, that's true. You know? Oh, shit. Um, 
to the stream and nah, feel alright. Ray, we're basically we already talked about the men's basketball team. Now we're talking about the women's Olympic basketball team. Yeah, and, we and how they lost against the WA WNBA team. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. And now Kaylin Clark, Angel Reese, and uh, Akarambai. Akarambai, who's a, who's like she's a veteran, no, maybe like five years. Pretty much showed the WNBA team the dang shit. Damn. Okay. That uh, damn. Yeah, and. Uh, we yeah we yeah and the W the the men's NBA team almost losing to South Sudan Germany <laughs> we ripped a new one into them and the burger counts only at three now yeah <laughs> well, not that four that counts the the clarification of burgers gives us a new count of four uh, I mean technically if you want to call it. The way they're playing, every every basketball player on the men's Olympic team is a burger right now. The count is now at five. So, so if there's 15 players on that team, and there's 15 burgers. I was about to say, we, we have, have 19 we, already? We have 19 <laughs> now. One <laughs> burger each. You know what? Is at it, this point, I want to call the whole Yankees team burgers because why the fuck are we getting demolished by the Mets? Shit. This is a very cheap barbecue because there's only 19 burgers. One for each. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, I listen. No. Oh fuck! I, I get it. You know, <laughs> the, the Yankees right now going through a little rough patch. I guess we are, cause man, <laughs> one of my boys hit me up like, "Yo, so what happened?" Because he's a Mets fan. I was like, ah, "That's just, just you know what you, do, Ray? you know what you do, Ray. You tell them, okay, come talk to me at the end of the season." Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. When people were like, yo, what happened? You lost to the Mets. It's like the same thing that's going to happen at the end of the season when the Mets don't make the playoffs. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> they don't lose. They... <laughs> but, yo, but we really got to inform Ray about because, you know, this might make him feel better about himself. Okay, what happened? You see how we got 19 burgers yeah. in the in the count? Yeah. What's 19 plus one? Wait, what? 19 plus one. 20. That's how many points the Colorado Rockies got against the Boston Red Sox. They beat them twenty to seven. I, twenty I'm a, I'm to seven. I'm happy now. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot more happy now. <laughs> twenty <laughs> to seven. Uh, wait, but oh, the, the Yankees were losing like twelve to two though, so it's like. Listen, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What, what I don't care if the Yankees lose. Like, long like, as the Red Sox lose. Yeah. yeah. All the world is okay. Yeah, we're all house. right in the world. Yeah, all is right. At least <laughs> all right is in the world. <laughs> uh, at least the best thing we could say, at least New York wins. You know? Yeah, I guess. We all take yeah. it where we can take it. Yeah. Look, man. Yeah. Yo, no, at least in, in New York 86, wins only happens if one of them is in the playoffs. It, I look, in 86, and I, I'm pretty sure that's way before you were born, Ray. Way before. <laughs> and so I don't know. You might have been around. No, nah, not that's two years before my making. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the when the Red Sox were playing the Mets in series, I was going for the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to. You know, oh, man. <laughs> so at, at the end of the day, it's still fuck Boston. Yeah, that, that we can agree on. No and matter what, we have, we have <laughs> listeners from Boston. We appreciate you guys. Yep. But fuck all your teams. Fuck Word. The Sox, fuck the Bruins. Word. Uh, and uh, Celtics. And if yeah, you are watching us and you know we're from New York, good for you. You really grew because, you know, the racism that you guys have. <laughs> Either you don't know that we're Spanish and we just told you that we're Spanish and we fucked it up for our viewership. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in any case, you're not welcome here. <laughs> we appreciate you. Like, are, are, people, wait, are Boston people racist? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. I went to Boston once. Yo, I shit you not. I'm in the lobby of the hotel with my mother and three white women. Bro. And a pickup truck came by with four dudes, and they staring at me outside the, outside the, the fucking um, hotel. And I'm just sitting there like, well, I'll be back. <laughs> and my mom had to hold me back. I was like, I don't like the way these motherfuckers are looking at me. 
we doing this now. <laughs> We're not waiting until I get into my room and you break. Nah, we doing this now. What's good? <laughs> Come on. You want no, some of this fucking sexual caramel? Come get it while it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had an AO button. Um, <laughs> uh, apparently, hey, yep. Hey. <laughs> all, Yo, Mark, Mark Henry got do, sexual chocolate. All you, all you had to do to get back at them. We'll just wait till they moved away from the truck and put a banana on the tailpipe. Yo, no, I hate that would have messed with them, man. That would have messed with them. When I started flirting with that girl, they didn't like that shit too much. Uh, that's probably what did it. No, no, this was afterwards. And I don't think it was that. It was just, she was a waitress. Listen, man. Well, I, I, I've well, been to Boston. Well, I've well, been to well, Boston well, a couple well, of well. I've been to Boston a couple of times to watch my Yankees play. Yeah. And, and yes, I have worn a Yankee jersey at Fenway. Yeah. I I am that kind of fucking crazy. Fuck what you, fuck what you heard. All right, and then I've gone out to a bar wearing a Yankee fitted. Back <laughs> when I used to wear fitteds. Yeah. Word. Right? No, yeah, I've every and I, and I told my friend, you know, just like the line and don't be a menace to our central wide drink your juice in the hood, you know, gotta drop it. I'm just trying to do what they've been doing to me. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to, Word. man. Yo, every time I've done that, legit, no matter where I go, especially with the team that's not the Yankees, I'm wearing my fucking Yankee fin. That's Shit, right. I did that the last Mets game I went to. I walked in with a fucking Yankee cap and my fucking jersey on. Like, now I know where I'm at. Fuck yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Shit, there was one that you want to talk about, gangster. There was one time my brother wore a Yankee hat at a Yankees game in Yankee Stadium. And was cheering for the fucking Diamondbacks. Wait, what? Yep. Because we got the tickets last minute. So all we knew was he was going to a Yankee game. All we knew he was going to a Yankee game because our, our neighbor had the tickets. He couldn't go. He said, yo, um, hey, you guys take the tickets. So we went. It was like, fuck it. Let's go. And then he's like, oh, shit. His favorite team was the uh, Cardinals and the Diamondbacks. And we were playing the Diamondbacks. I don't know who it was, but his homeboy hits a home run. And just, just hear my brother. It is long. It is deep. It is back. It is gone. And three drunk people turn around saying, what the fuck? And I got up and said, come on, motherfucker. We all getting <laughs> fucked up tonight. <laughs> yeah, I was ready to be like, I'll be your huckleberry. The word is like shit. I w- I'll fuck up a Yankee fan in Yankee Stadium while we're both rooting for the Yankees and the other team in a home run. <laughs> like this thing. Yeah, I felt oh, like homeboy ready, from. Like, come on, man. Man. Yeah, I was homeboy from the you Departed. Sound, you sounded like Major League Two. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do? Uh, eject. But they're fighting against each other. <laughs> At that point, Toe was like, nah, I got to fight for the home team. Word. Like, home, home, home team is blood. Home team is blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, bro. I was like the homeboy from The Departed. He's like, he's he's not a guy you can't hit. And he's technically got a, not a guy you can hit. So I'm telling you, don't fucking hit him. <laughs> that, that was yeah. me. Yeah. Like Marlon Wayne's character, don't be a man. This is our central. Yeah, you oh, don't want to. You don't want to fight. You don't want to fight. But I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Do so we have a problem? Who? Yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but uh. <laughs> Look, like I was, like I said earlier, you know, baseball is 162 games. Yeah, you, you're definitely going to have some ups and downs. Oh hell yeah! You yeah. know, so I, games like that don't really worry me. You know, even in basketball, you got 82 games, so you can slack for a little bit. You can't slack in football. Yeah, yeah. Un- you need one you game, you are Yeah, so you know, but. And I don't know about fo- football. I'm not going to call it soccer because the last time somebody told me, yo, stop calling that shit soccer. <laughs> and and that, my reply to them is, it's how they know you. Words. Like, yo, listen, I'll make you a deal. I'll stop calling it soccer when you stop fucking telling me what to do in America, nigga. America. And we, 
When we go to fucking Jamaica or Germany or any other island that you want to go to, I call oh, it football. When we, when we go to Brazil, yeah, it's football, baby. It's football. Yeah. Okay. When, you, when we see that booty, it, it's football. <laughs> when we don't see the booty, it's soccer. Yeah. Like, I think Ray might know a little bit more about soccer than us. Like, how long are their seasons? <sighs> Shit, um, never stop. You know, the, I, I was about to say it was right because it's like, bro, the Copa one Copa just ended, another Copa just started. Yeah, so like, it's like, yeah. But, it's, but, it's, I, but I, this I know that there's a season for like the Copas, but I know there's also actually the, like regular season. Oh, Norma got thirty yeah, plus games. Yeah, Norma, God, bro. Damn. bro, that's the thing. Like to try to keep up with an actual like s- season. Bro, at this point, you're just like, okay, what's playing? Okay, we got this, we got that, we got this, we got that. Like, all I know is when it, when it has to come down to my Ecuador team, we ain't doing shit. So, <laughs> yo, I, I try to watch wherever Messi's at. Basically, one of my one of my good friends from uh, elementary school and middle school, I would go over his house. So he's Guatemalan. Wait, wait, you have other friends? I yeah, I used to believe it or not, I used to have friends. <laughs> Uh, his, uh, his, I just like, what you cheating on us? <laughs> yeah, this is before your time. Home. <laughs> Yo, you remember what you got to do? It's like, this is before you when I was like five years old. Oh, okay. don't count no more. <laughs> no, but when we were, when I went over his house, his pops was always watching soccer. And I'm sitting there like, Yo, is soccer run 24 7? And I would think that the game never stopped. It was just like the first team that died lost. Because they never scored. They never <laughs> scored. The, the, and first, they the, the first team that stopped running? Is that what yeah, I just thought? Yeah. <laughs> it's like if one of the players on the team dies, you lost. <laughs> TKO. Yeah, like they so never I, scored. I, I, I'm not going to lie. When I was a kid and I used to, wa- and I used to watch the soccer, I'd be like, okay, we're going that way. No, no, we're going the other way. <laughs> and we're going back. And then, yo, I, honestly, I would hate to be a soccer commentator. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I can make it interesting at points. But it's fucking, we're going this way, and then we're going that way. It's well, like NASCAR. Like, like we're making a left turn. Like unless we're doing in Spanish, turn. I don't think I can make it interesting. Cause in Spanish, they go in like football commentaristas. Yo, yo, my man. Hey. 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 I mean, we know we're going like Michael Jordan. Like, we know the like, like, paso, paso, mira, go, yo, paso, paso, go, no, 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 no. Paso, paso. It's like they wake up. They're like, yo, I, all my life I just wanted to call a goal in soccer, <laughs> and I yo, finally bro. got the chance. Hey. Moment, but they make every pass sound like it's the best or the most interesting pass. Yeah. No, and that, like the the ones that very get analytical, like oh, doing this and doing that. The strategy of this is like, oh, okay, cool. You break it down English in the English commentary, and Jacobs passes it here. Oh. Oh, we're going back. It's like, cool. No, I could, I could, I know that's happening. Spanish, yeah. like, it's like, oh, no, I, yo. oh, he sounds like he likes his job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, there was one time I was into um, Olympic soccer. Yeah. We was watching USA, and they had a British man commentate. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there like, where the fuck was he at the rest of the game? <laughs> like, this man is like, Oh, the England, this is about that and that and this. And then the funny thing is this. And then they were doing it. And he went from this and blah, blah, blah. And, this, and, blah, 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 and they passed the ball. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm sitting like, I just figured out what the fuck is happening. Not, like, yo, dead ass. I was like, yo, someone set a rule. And I always thought soccer was just you running. You just run and you fucking die. And oh, then no. I, I found out what offsides was and all the other shit. I'm like, oh, no. he's explaining something. And then I was like, yo, why does it say 90 minutes? And it gets to zero, and they're still playing. And no, then yeah, I really yeah, still gotta go. Yeah, he's talking about where the fucking the clock never stops. You get overtime, and then it's play- and I'm like, yo, we needed this in school. Fuck math. <laughs> like, bro, shit. We needed soccer 101 or football 101 because sometimes it's just like word. Oh, I'm I, I'm sitting here like I, no I wonder know. girls play this sport. It's complicated as fuck. Yo, I can only imagine the people that went nuts. That are finding out about penalties. <laughs> Wait a second. It's zero zero. How are we gonna decide? Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what are we doing? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, it took it took me till like I was like maybe like 10, 11 to find out it's called penalty kicks. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not called the shootout. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yo, because I'm sitting like, who pissed me the fuck off the last season? Because well, about- I'm like, yo, who got in trouble? That six people got a penalty shot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> is that like a green? Yeah. Or something? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, this is a pretty bad penalty that that yeah. many people tend to shoot. Like, no, 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 that's not how it works. And I, I oh. yo, and I swear to God, I was like, yo, do, do they have the choice of like inbounding it from the corner or from the middle of the field? Like, why do you keep going to the corner? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Like, yo, stop hitting it in the corner. None of y'all niggas make it. Go! Oh, shit, he did it? And they showed a replay 80 times, like if it was a fucking moonsault. Yeah, fucking, of they, fucking, they, they, no, no, they, no, bended the ball. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. But, and I remember growing up, they're like, no, you can't use your hands. I'm like, what you mean I can't use my hands? No, you can, you, <laughs> you can use your feet. And then I see somebody... Like headbutt it, and I'm like, hey, 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 he used his head. They're like, oh, well, he can use his head. And I'm like, yo, hold, hold the, hold the fuck up. Yo, word. And then you see hold, him somebody the use the chest and shit. Hold the fuck up. All right. What part of my body can I use to hit the ball? And they were like, any part of your body but your arms. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> And I remember I was young, and I was like, "Oh, so this is the perfect game with people with no arms." <laughs> Word, yeah, and I was that basically. <laughs> and my teacher looked at me like, um, "You can't say stuff like that." And I'm like, "You telling me I can't use my arms? This is yo. a perfect, perfect game for people that have no arms." Yeah, and yo, you would think that there'd be more people like that that didn't have no arms that was playing this. I guess I guess the balance fucks up or yeah. something. I don't know. But that's all I know is that then I saw the goalie grab the ball and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Why is he touching the ball? Where's the like, oh, yeah, the, the goalie? goalie, the goalie, goalie and I'm like, yo, oh, and yo, and okay, the crazy. I, I said, yo, you guys are making this shit up as you guys go. Yeah. And yo, and the crazy yeah. shit is the goalie wears something completely different than the team. So I don't know what goalie's which. So I'm like, wait. <laughs> and then they got them big old gloves. And I'm like, yeah. why are you gloves? It was like, what is it? The ball on fire? They got the fucking fire retardant gloves. Like, what the fuck is this? Yo, even with those big gloves, sometimes they still can't catch a fucking ball. Yo, word. <laughs> That's why we had to fire. Yo, the the right after that game, Ecuador was like, yo, fuck the coach. I fuck <laughs> our goalie. Yo, bro, we fired him after the after the last game because it was like, nope. Because this motherfucker, <laughs> three times back to back, they tricked his ass, and it's like. Come on, after the first one, you could see the play. Why are you letting it happen again and again? My man Ray was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Bro. <laughs> it's like again all three of those goals and again. Is what causes the fucking game because of penalty shots. It's like, oh, you stupid motherfucker. What, what part of Ecuador are you from? <laughs> like, we no oh, longer oh, claim oh, that. Who oh, let this bitch in the country? <laughs> <laughs> we no longer claim that. Era. Yo, my man Ray was like, "Yo, my man, hand, hand in your car." Word. <laughs> hand in your car. <laughs> Go to Haiti, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but this is I play. No, 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 you don't play no more. No, no, that's it. You go to bodega, you sell bread. <laughs> with, with, the, with the cat. <laughs> they you go over there and got subred and chill with the cat. <laughs> Word. They give him a wheelchair. You no longer use your feet. You can't <laughs> even walk no more. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, but, that's, that's how bad. It's like, no, 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 no. We, we don't like you no more. Word. Well, but that's, that's crazy that they, they're, they're, like uh normal guy said, the, the English league is 30 games. That's a, that's a lot of fucking games. I didn't think there was that many games in that season. Yeah, yeah, bro. It just it it also feels like it's just never ending because between that, again, you have the copas, then you have different just branches out. These guys, that's why the regimen they're on. It's crazy. You look at the breakdowns, and it's like no wonder that niggas they can run forever. 
Bro, but that's also why, like, a lot of their careers aren't long, though. Like, if you look at it, like, based off, like, their career span, based on, let's say, someone in basketball or someone in football, their career spans are very short. <laughs> because well, I mean, football football bro- was the shortest career span because the average NFL career is only three years. Shit, is it? Yeah. Bro, you're getting in a car accidents every day. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm, I stand corrected. Because I was like, because their careers, I think they may last five, a good five, six years, if that. Now, now I know that the star players get these crazy contracts. Yeah. Yeah. What are the contracts look for the, like the regular guy? Even, even them, they're still getting broken down to more than livable wage. Like no one in this. Especially, well, depending on like the level, you're not, you're not, you're, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> like you're making money, if especially if you're at that level of like you're playing in the Premier League, you're playing in the English League. Like if you're doing that, you're good. And if you're playing in these Copas, you're making a nice amount of bread. Um, for those that are maybe like coming up still, they might make close to what 50, 50, 60 k a year. Yeah, less market. than that. Yo, it, it, the minimum salary for Major League Soccer players depend on their age. Players under 25 get $36,000 a year. Players over 25 get $48,000 a year. For which uh, For which one is that? MLS. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the, the U.S. shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we, we all know the U.S. don't give a shit about soccer because we, we don't. But as you, again, as you, but that's usually the, most people start from there. They're going through that one because they try to get their their shit in. Basically, as it gets as it gets more lucrative, that's where the bigger deals come, where the breakdowns come, and you get those nice hefty checks, <laughs> or you get the Ronaldo's making. Ooh. But like, but like, even but even, even let's say even um, let's say even a regular guy in the American, in the English league, like what's the average for those guys over there? Uh, let me see right now. The English league? Yeah. Uh, 10 lowest place player in the premier league. Yo, is the euro the backwards E? That's yeah. uh British pounds. Yeah, I just saw. Okay, yeah. So max low, the lowest that gets paid. No, the highest. Uh, all right, wait. Courtney Hahusa, <laughs> see, it makes eight thousand seventy-seven British pounds per week. Yeah, that's the lowest paid in the Premier League. From looking at yearly here, the lowest I am looking at is. Forty-one thousand. When it translates into American dollar, uh, ten eight thousand translating to forty thousand. No, that's what I'm looking here when it says to, uh, ba- the lowest salary in Premier League. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the Premier League, the lowest I'm looking at is forty-one thousand right now. Shit, that's crazy. Which is still not bad. <laughs> Yeah, but once the Premier League's over, you can go into another league and another yeah, thing. Bro, and-, bro and, that's, and that's what they do. Like, a lot of these guys, they go from that, that it's like they're making a nice amount of change just off. So, so like, what's here. the average game? Is it one game per week? You get, you get seen two games a week? Um, More than likely, it's one. It's, it's the most you're doing is two a week and something like that. Because, again, just because of how many teams, you're not seeing, like, Oh, we're doing this, and then you're gonna see him here. Like, no. a lot of times you're getting maybe, maybe once of each team a week. Shit. Unless we're in Copas, and then you're gonna possibly see a team go two times a week or more. They they go for week straight without stopping. Um, uh, some of these guys do because some of these guys just keep going. Like they'll play, and then it's bro. Crazy training, crazy this, crazy that, just to keep their body fucking warm in a sense. That's wild. Bro, but that's why if you saw the last Copa fucking uh, 
721k per week in the, in the Spanish, Spanish league. League. shit Christ. I want that <laughs> word 721k a week dude I'll take 721k a year Fads. I'll take it for the year I'm good Yo, I got, Coach I make already that makes that <laughs> well, well listen like, like I said before and, you know, like I said before, you He's know, subject. In, in, the, in, in the U.S., you know, it's no, it's not in the top three. Yeah, yeah. But worldwide, soccer is the sport. It's top. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 why it's so out there. It's really looked at as the world sport, right? So, and it, you see it just because of how much. A lot of countries, you see that's usually... Well, and, and, and like I tell people, I said, you know, it's one of the most popular sports because it's the easiest sport, sport to get into. Yeah. All you need is a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Because even, let's say, even if you don't have, a, a you know, sneakers or whatever, man, you go, you go around, you get two latas or, or four latas, there's your goal right there. You know, you get four latas or four cans, you know. I'm sorry for my non-Spanish speaking people out there. You remember those uh Keeper Elf blue uh, green cans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Get, you get four of those and you got a and you got a ball, you you can go play soccer anywhere. Yeah, I got one of those right now in my kitchen. <laughs> I think I got one too. Yeah, that's you know and, and mind you, in our kitchen. It don't hold no crackers. It holds rice. Nah, nah yeah. man, not anymore. Yo, legit, bro. If you you have, you'll probably have that in your kitchen, and you have those blue sugar cookies. Yeah, the, the tin that everybody. Oh, yeah. thinks is, you, you you as a kid, you thought it was cookies, and meanwhile, it's a sewing kit. Bro, I have never seen <laughs> that thing. By the way, I put that in my stories today. <laughs> well, I saw, I, bro, that shit had me dying because I'm like. I don't remember ever seeing the cookies. <laughs> like you see in the Hallmark movies, you see this shit. It's like, wait, where are the where, where are the cookies go? <laughs> like I I remember it always being here for some reason. I'm like, oh cookies. You open it, it's like okay. And they would bring a new thing. You're like, okay, cool. If I'm gonna have a cookie, nope. Miraculously, yeah. it's already having. See, I, I I remember you see the commercials, and I'm like, yo, that, that's a, the commercials line. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, what are you talking about? It's lying. I'm like, I got like three of those in my fucking kitchen and ain't none of them got cookies. Bro. Shit, we was lucky that my mom would get them as uh, as gifts from her job and I would be able to eat the cookies. <laughs> so we got them new. <laughs> and then it was always like the bolts or some shit was in there, screw, screws. I don't know. My pops wasn't done screwing shit, but we had screws in it. I'm like, where did you just go to work? Yo, you you know, find you a screw in the screws in there, and you also had fucking the sewing kits. Yep. Yeah. All the little knickknacks. Yeah. Was that also just when I was younger, the only one that had to, for some reason, oh, you put the needle through the, the or the, the, the oh, yeah. uh, yarn through it? Yeah. No one else apparently in the house could see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Was, I was like, oh, no. See, yeah. that's the whole. The old people always give that to the young kids. They're like, "Oh, you got the, you got the young guy, you got the young guys. It's easier for you." It's like, it's like no, because that is the thinnest piece of fucking that you have to like <laughs> pause because of uh, you have to almost like treat it like it's weed and look nope. for a sec, just like nope. okay, let's see if this works. All right, but and if you fuck up, that's that's it. It's like, come on, you can see. It's like how it's it's. it's <laughs> It's trying to make it fit in the smallest hole. Pause again. <laughs> like, <sighs> yeah, that shit was a pain in the ass. Facts, facts. I mean, I, I still, my, I, that was my specialty. My, my mom used, my mom, my mom used to give me the fucking the needle <laughs> and the string, and I'm like, all right, let's go. No, Here you know, crazy. Now I can do it like with no issue. Now I ask, like, oh, if I see someone like getting ready to do, I'm like, give me, and I know how to do it, like nothing. But when I'm younger, I'm just like, how do you? Okay, like, fuck. Look at that, Joseph. No more guy just said in the in the French league. Three hundred and eighty-four. God, damn. 
bitch that that bitch that like I tell people if I, if I decide if I ever have kids as much as I would want him to fucking play football of uh, American football whatever I'm gonna teach him football I'm gonna I'm gonna show him Messi I go that's the goat Parlez-vous <laughs> français oui. I'm like I'm like learn from him why daddy because he signed a 400 million dollar contract for one year that's what I want for you. Word. You need to take care of me, God damn it. Facts. I Word. We are stuck. Show them Ronaldo tape, Messi tapes. Be like, hey, I, you see I, this guy right here? I, I grew up watching Pe- Pele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pele Pele is fucking bro. It is funny because more people know his kick than they do him. I know. That's well, that's like. And I know this is not even sports, but you know Jose Feliciano. Yeah, yeah. People forget he has a whole bunch of other songs, but yeah, the only like, song people know is "I Want to Wish You a Merry Christmas." I was about to say, I feel like we brought that up once here. Yeah, <laughs> that legit. Yeah. That is, there's a whole just again Rolodex of just catalog. Man has a career, a legit, yeah, a, a legit career of amazing. But in the songs. U.S., we only know him because of. I want to wish you Merry Christmas. Thanks. Which again, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I don't think he's complaining just because he's still making money off that one song. Oh, my man, he's one of the very few artists that said, nah, man, I don't get mad when people ask me to sing that at a concert. It's making me money. Yeah. And they play it every year, so he's getting more royalty yep. after you know, royalty. Like, I, like there's, some, there's some artists who doesn't want to, don't like playing certain songs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mariah Carey does that. Mariah Carey legit says no. Only that one time a year, and it's like, you know how much money you're leaving off the table, right? Because like, a lot of these, I know, is taking it with no problem. A lot of these artists hate their one hit wonders. Oh yeah, yeah. They but hate if you their have big more hits. hits. You, it's not a one hit wonder. Yeah. Yeah, because what Feliciano has a fu- man. There's so many. Like it, it's right. funny. And Mariah Carey has a whole bunch of songs too. Yeah, she got the theme from uh, the song from Rush Hour. She got the Christmas song. Yeah, that's all from Rush Hour. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking nah, around. Man, she has a whole bunch of songs. No, no, I know, I know. I just gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta no. fuck around. So Toke have a clip for them all. <laughs> she got that song from Rush Hour. Whatever, but she'd be like, "Nah, I hate that song." Well, I'm, I'm like, just making you money, dumbass. That's why she married a rich guy, so she doesn't have the work. Did she? I'm about to say, didn't she marry Nick Cannon and not yeah, not my man's that? my man's rich enough to have fucking twelve babies? Yeah, but they got divorced. <laughs> so she's he still got to pay alimony. Yo, with the amount of kids he got, at some point the judge got to be like, you know what? He got you good. He got one kid for each show he does on MTV. But at, at this point, that's what it should be because my guy is producing so much content. Um, he's producing this. He's doing this. He's still technically an executive for Nickelodeon. I don't know how, and he has his own podcast. He, all, he does all this. It's like, yo, relax. Yo, man, God, mama, <laughs> man I, I don't think we know what Nick Cannon is on, basically. Uh, I agree. Or, <laughs> uh, those, all that is sponsored by Blue Chew. Oh, shit. We're going to get the last 10 minutes of the show. We're going to get into Porch's favorite part of the show. Ah shit! Here we been go. Waiting the main this event whole week discussion of this. Talk guy. about this. What are we talking about? Uh-oh. Jake Paul oh. knocked out Mike Perry in the sixth round. Uh, I refuse to talk about that fucking burger. So we're not gonna talk about the lack of coverage. My friend said, "You know what? I want to take all these punches just straight to the face." Let's just let's just not cover anymore. My man has not fought anybody legit. Cause even Tyson Fury's brother wasn't legit. And he lost to Tyson Fury's brother. <laughs> he had no choice but to lose to Tyson Fury's he brother. Lose, he did lose to his brother, right? Yeah, yeah. by decision. Oh, okay. Yeah. He should have lost to fucking uh Silver by decision too, but nah, but again, this is all leading to Tyson has to humble him. No, that that I I, I they ever have I like I, I follow like a whole bunch of stuff. That fight is not happening. No, no. God damn! It. I thought they moved it to November. 
That's what I thought too. Because that's what's not hey, happening, man. Officially, or they're just they're just it's speculating that it's just not gonna happen. If you if you watch some of these YouTube videos, yeah, like of how Tyson is speaking, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Ah, oh, all right. I gotta you know who I'm gonna hit up. Tell him hit up your boy Jerry D. Because he was he was part of the media this weekend. I'm gonna see what he thinks. You're like, yeah. yo. So what is what is the, the over under on this situation? He, he, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me I'm gonna be real. Give me three months where all I do is train. I don't have to go to work. Just give me three months. I will light Jake Paul up like a fucking Christmas tree. Bro, I think anyone with like actual just proper training and having the discipline. No, I, don't, like, I don't even need great. proper training. Yeah. Just give me three months for cardio and shit like that. Yeah. And that's all I'm asking. Because with Jake, it feels like every fight he goes into, it, there is no ethic bro, to it. It just bro, it's, every every guy he's fought has either been a washed up athlete. Yeah. You know, and no disrespect to, to Silva, but at that time he was an older he was an older gentleman or whatever. He was already unfor- it, let's be realistic, he was past his prime at that point. He was a little pu- yeah. pouch he had. <laughs> My man was eating good, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it it, it, it would have been a different story if it was young in his prime. That's like, oh, he tries well, to do but this. But he's either fighting guys like that yeah. or guys like Nate Robinson. Yeah. Or, or, or your man, or your man fucking, who was it? Uh, Whitley or, or, or... Tyrone Whitley. Or your man, uh, um, the guy who got kneed by Masvidal. Guys who are wrestlers. Ben guys, who are, yeah. guys who cannot punch to save their lives. You know who I wanted to see him try to fight? <laughs> Because I feel like he would kick his fucking ass and something like this, even though he was more of just kicks and all that. I want to see GSP try this. With Jake Paul? Yeah. I think GSP could fuck him up. Yeah, GSP started out as a kickboxer. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, GSP, I feel like... Yeah. Well, him, him, lie, uh, GSP was one of the guys that I saw throw the most jabs in the UFC. No, that's what I'm saying. I feel like GSP... Give him three months of just like get the cardio where it needs to be. Shit, but well, look, no, 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 nothing. No. Else. If you look at Jake Paul's opponents, no, they're either old wrestlers or people who are smaller than him. Yeah, yeah. The only person that was his about his size or whatever was Fury's brother, and what happened? Yep. He lost to him. Yeah. And he was sucking up air like MJF. Bro, like I swear to God, you give me three months to get my cardio fine. I I, I know how to throw a punch. Just give me three months. Get let me get my cardio fine and put me in the ring with him. Yeah. The, the issue is that he's 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 fighting wrestlers and he's fighting people that get hit. Yeah. And I I was talking to my boy about it before. The fight was like, yo, you want to drop some money on uh, Mike Perry? Like, fuck it, let's do it. And I, we never did it. And then I text him like, yo, bro, you lost in the sixth round. Thank God we didn't put no money on him. Because it was one of if you bet fifty dollars, you get six hundred and fifty dollars back or some shit like that. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what's up? But you gotta remember, like, you know, drop your money. Yeah, Ty- yo, boxing in MMA is completely different than boxing in boxing. Oh, yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole different. Yeah. You you like, see the difference. You see how much it, it creates that jet. Because one, you don't have the glove to protect your face. You have your hands, so most of the hands is down by their chest because you you're trying to lose this way, and you're going for a takedown. So your hands is always here. Yeah, that's what caught Tyron Woodley. That and that little shit that he did when he was fucking with his wrist and shit. Ben Askren. I don't think he was he was tested like for vision or something because that he just said bow. Yeah, my like man, that, your man hasn't been right ever since he got that knee from Masvidal. Yeah. yeah, that after that it was just yeah. like Anderson Silva. If he was 
four years younger, he'd have knocked out Jake Paul. Yeah. Because Anderson, Anderson Silva proves that he has the skills to box. He beat Julio Cesar Chavez before that fight. So it's, it's, uh, junior. That's why people people gave him the, the benefit of the doubt that they thought, yeah. oh, he'll do fine in this. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's the, the that was more of age finally caught up to. And then now he's fighting he's fighting Mike um, Mike Perry. And if you look at any of Mike Perry's bare knuckle street fights, it's always the person he's fighting quits before he does. Yeah, but he's getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't get knocked down, but he's getting fucked up. Now the difference between a bare knuckle and a and a boxing glove is. Your your knuckle is about three. Your fist is about three to four inches wide. Yeah. That glove is about six to eight inches wide. There's more fucking surface area on your face. You know what I'm saying? But Jake Paul fucking up Mike Perry. It's yo. It every fight is just looking more and more rigged. Yeah, man. No, legit, legit. It's it's. it's, it's. Is it because he's like, yo, everybody? He's like, yo, I told you, I'll fight him in MMA. I'll fight him in MMA. I'll do this. I'll do that. And no one wants to take him up on the shit. And then you start thinking, like, why does nobody want to take him up on the shit? I maybe do. because, maybe because he's associated with some shit that these niggas don't want to be associated with. Or well, honestly, they can't pay an MMA fighter to take a dive in MMA on on Jake Paul. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be willing to do it. No one's going to be willing to do that in their turf, you know? Because it's one of those where this... Right. Again, we can we can give the excuse of it's the transition. Now an MMA fighter loses in MMA. It's like, look at the, look at the McGregor uh, Mayweather thing. Yeah. That they were like, oh, now let's do it in the cage. That never, yeah. that never saw the light of day, you know? That it's like... It's easier to this because then he could give the excuse of, oh, uh, the cardio wasn't there because of this or this or this. Like, with something like that, it's like, now what's the excuse? And well, shit, tell, if, you like, got- if they take a dive, you could tell, like, wait a second. Why if, are you doing that? <laughs> if you got uh, Deontay Waller, right. fucking answer you, that motherfucker got a 40 pound fucking cosplay vest on before he went to fight. Bro. Biggest fight of the year. <laughs> Yo. The fact I that tired, I think when they were guns. doing the entrance, like not even the entrance, the ring, the, the ring announcing, like you could tell he's just like his legs are giving out already. That's like, why would you do this? Just yeah, just why? <laughs> like you could tell he's he's done already. It's like, yo, you defeated yourself at that point. You should just tap the minute and bing bing bing, tap. Just yeah. tap. Just. just don't even let him strike. Just fucking tap. You would have been better off. You would have been better off because you you knew you were done. You knew you were done. Shit, man. And if you it, it wasn't even a cool like jacket either. It was like, come on, man. You you wasted all that money and just cost yourself this fight. Yeah, that <sighs> It's hard that we're talking about a celebrity went into boxing more than any boxer or UFC shit. But I mean, shit. On that note, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, y'all, tomorrow will be uh, the call up slash wrestling with knuckleheads as yep. Kenny and DJ are going to come over. As unfortunately, me and Gigi will not be in the building. So. Yeah. Hunch, if you want to join us with that one, you can. There you go. There you go. So, because we don't want to leave Toe alone, because he will be ranting the whole time. And yeah, like I would get an award to, for the most truth. <laughs> we would like to come back to a Knucklehead Network on Friday, because Friday we will be back with the Toe in the Show show with Ray. Tune and, in for that. And I might be late, but you never know. It's all good. If he's late, it's all good. It's payback. It'll be my show. It'll be payback for when Ray left me here on Thursday. Facts. I'll, I'll make up time and a half. It's all good. <laughs> but till then, yeah. Toe, take us home. Appreciate you, Joseph. Yeah, man. Um, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is your friendly neighborhood knuckleheads signing out. Peace, everybody.